What are you still salty about? In a 5th grade science test the question was, are there any stars in the solar system? I answered, yes. Teacher marked it wrong. I went up afterwards and said, what about the sun? He said, he meant that all the other stars are not in our solar system, and kept it marked wrong. Although I'm harboring this for 50 years now, he was all around one of the best teachers I ever had, and just passed away a week or so ago. But damn, that should have been marked right. When I was in high school someone tagged up the school. They announced there would be a reward for anyone who rats anyone out. I get called in the office and find out I'm suspended for vandalization. I didn't do it, and had no idea who 4 days later I'm allowed to come back to school, because they found who actually did it. I just got an apology. Me and some others in primary school were saying the biggest numbers we knew of. Everybody was saying like 100,000 and a million, and then I'm like a trillion. And they refused to believe it was a real number. On a 4th grade math test we had to make a shape that had only 4 sides, one set of parallel lines, and only one right angle there were probably more requirements that I can't remember I remember almost crying at my desk and spending 20 minutes on that one question while constantly telling my teacher that it wasn't possible, but according to her it was. And the next day we went over the answer key, and the answer had 2 right angles. When I was in high school, I was occasionally allowed to drive my family's third car. It had a slow leak in one of the tires, so we were all supposed to check the pressure and put air in it if we needed to. I picked up a friend to go to a movie, and when we came out one tire was completely flat. It wasn't the one with the leak, so I put the spare on and drove home. I got absolute hell from my parents about it. How irresponsible I was to not check it, I'd have to pay for the repair, why didn't I call roadside assistance, etc. Took it to get fixed, repeat the whole lecture as we're dropping it off, and the tech who did it called my mom, and told her he'd found a nail in the tire and there was no way I could have seen it coming. She refused to apologize, and I still, had to pay for it. Being charged $1000 for a battery and alternator change. They also destroyed my starter motor in the process, and rounded a bunch of my bolts. They left tools in the engine bay. I don't even have that car anymore, and I'm still salty. Duck you madass. Three months ago I went on maternity leave. The woman hired to cover for me was being paid $3 more than I'm currently paid. She was going to be kept on as a full-time accounting assistant after I returned, but she couldn't keep up with my daily tasks and completely ducked up several databases that I had to correct when I returned to work the following month. When I asked for a raise, they offered me .50 after telling me how crucial I'm to the structure of the company. Needless to say, I'm looking for a new job. In 4th grade English class EU I've used the word gross in a random sentence we had to write. The teacher argued that it isn't a real word, I said that it is, that I saw it a few times in video games and movies, and she said that they aren't a reliable source. I said to her that I'm gonna show it in the dictionary, but she instead grabbed me by the arm and took me out of the classroom and locked the door. To this day I'm still fuming about this, and then she had the nerve to be all chummy when I met her once in a supermarket. Gross. Edit. In both cases it was meant like disgusting, and I know there are even more meanings behind the word. I wonder if she knows by now. 20 years ago I had 3 friends show up at my house, and when they left my wallet with $80 in it was missing. One of the guys felt bad, and gave me $20 back. 3 years after, that we are in the back drive through and he whipped out my wallet. Still salty. His FB friend request has just been sitting there for like 2 years. Came second in food tech competition. Made a lovely main course then Leng's D chat biscuits with lemon posset for dessert. I made this dessert because the judges prior to this day told us don't make a cake for dessert guess what won first place. A ducking cake. I was probably 5 years old visiting my mom at the hospital after she gave birth to my brother and she was given food on a tray which she didn't want, so she gave it to me. I put the tray on the table and as I was eating, the nurse takes the tray away from me and throws away the food. That may have my first true instance of anger in my life. I'm 27 now and impest is him writing this haha. Our wedding photographer left part of their lens cap on. 
so every photo was shrouded in a massive black ring. No good photos from the wedding. I found a bongo next to the trash at my old apartment, and it was a perfect time capsule of the 90s it had Grateful Dead stickers, a smiley face holographic sticker, a pot leaf sticker, and alien I'm telling you, if someone made this as a prop for a movie about the 90s, I would have told them that it's too on the nose. When I came home from work the first thing my GF's friend said was you're welcome, and I was like what? She had peeled off all of the vintage stickers and now it was just a boring trash bongo. I'm still mad. Don't touch my shit. My copyright law teacher gave us a case for our pass or fail final exam. I solved the case we needed to predict the outcome, based on evidence and he failed me. Later that day, I decided to look the case up, and turns out I was right. When I confronted him, he said the grade was already posted, and even though I was right he couldn't, wouldn't do anything about it. Had to retake the class. When my mom put my sister's name on my birthday cake. Later that night I also walked in on my parents getting their freak on. Pretty horrible way to turn 13. Still angry. When I was a freshman in college my mom gave my car to my jail but brother every time he got out shed scrape a bunch of stuff together for his fresh start without ever running it by me. He showed up to my school, changed the battery for me, and then drove away in it. He didn't tell me his intentions beforehand so it wasn't until then that I caught on. As he drove off I called my mom and she just said I'll help you with a new one. He moved out of state with that car, wrecked it within weeks, and has since gone back to jail multiple times. Neither of them have given me a sincere apology to this day. That my 6th grade teacher refused to believe I had no idea the dude sitting behind me was copying my answers on the test. Kindergarten. Playing with a kid in the sandbox was a fairly drizzly day. We are making a castle, and there's a puddle a few feet from us. He wants to dig a moat around the castle, and I say sure. So he just kinda jams his hand in the dirt and starts pulling, making way too huge of a channel, which he immediately realizes is going to just destroy our castle. So I say quick build a dam to stop the water. He freezes. Stares at me with wide eyes and mouth agape before running off. I think this is strange, but okay whatever I saved the castle, so I go back to digging when the teacher runs up and grabs me and says to go to timeout, to which I obviously protest and say no WTF I didn't do anything. She then immediately says she knows I said a bad word and to not try and lie, to which I'm again confused and say I did not. After a few back and forths of her trying to pull me away by the arm and me rather violently resisting, it occurs to her to actually ask what happened. I explain the story. I still remember her face kinda dropping, realizing the other little acid thought I said damn instead of damn, and then immediately ratting on me. Tries to say well maybe use a different word to which I again vehemently protest against, because no that is the correct word for such a situation and that's just how it works, and it's his fault for not KOing the word, etc, etc, until she finally gives in, and explains to the kid, that I did not swear, and that no one likes tattletales. I'm in my 30s, and on the other side of the country, and I still remember this as a very instance in which I gazed upon my fellow man and wept. For he is stupid. The first day of 8th grade my best friend and friend group informed me that they would no longer be my friend. To this day, 20 years later, I still don't understand how or why things ended up that way. I can only guess because I was the shy nerd of the group and they were trying to fit in with the cool crowd. Regardless, it was a miserable experience that left me with quite a few trust issues. Edit. Wow. I never expected this to blow up like it did. Thank you for all the comments in my first awards. My father died in a very bad vehicle rollover a few years ago. I wasn't allowed near his vehicle in the tow yard until the cops finished their investigation. That took about two weeks. This entire time, the fuckwad owner of the yard was charging by the day from day one for storage of said vehicle even during the investigation. Was never allowed to thoroughly search his vehicle for lost heirlooms I believe the tow truck driver may have stolen. I was at a house party in college, and we had to take off our shoes. Some BTCH walked home in my leather knee high boots and I've never gotten over it. Edit. For clarity, she left her dirty ass shoes behind for me to go home with, so thanks I guess you shoe thieving wrench. Uck. So, my dad and mom got divorced before I was one, 
and he would randomly come around once every few years to pretend to be a dad for a week or to then disappear again this is important to the story. Anyway, I have always sucked at and hated math. We got a homework assignment I think I was in first grade. We were working on zero times whatever number. I was super excited because I understood it and knew I would get all the questions right. The whole worksheet was just questions asking was zero times another number was. My father made me show him the worksheet when I was finished and made me change every damn answer because wow, you're stupid. Did you pay attention at all in class? I explained to the teacher when I turned it in and still got a ducking zero. Edited to at, wow, thank you for all the comments showing so much love and support. I kind of feel like that meme that mentions thinking you have a fairly normal childhood until you tell somebody else about it and they freak out and you then realize it wasn't normal at all haha. <laughs> Seriously though, to those of you kind hearted human beings and parents out there who have broken the cycle, you're amazing. You keep doing what you're doing, you're an awesome human being and I love you. To those of you out there who have had similar experiences to this, and to those of you who like me have experienced way worse, I feel you. Thank you for sharing your experiences. I know life really ducking sucks sometimes okay, a lot of the time for some of us, and I know that there's times where you just want to beat your head against the wall, because it seems like Groundhog Day, every day is the same and just horrible, but it does, and will get better. Just remember that the night is always the darkest just before dawn. Coming second in a school trivia competition 21 years ago, I had the correct answers onto questions that would have sent us to the national champs and was vetoed by the other three shitheads on my team. When I was in high school, I entered a book quiz and one of the books I chose was Demon Thief by Darren Shan. During the quiz, I was asked what was the main characteristic of the demonitor summoned by the punk during the concert. I said it had three heads. Wrong. The answer was that it had a dyed mohawk. Except it was the punk that summoned it that had the mohawk, not the damn demonitor. I lost a point because the question setter could either not read, not write, or couldn't remember the book correctly. 